Oh, look at you, clicking on another YouTube video instead of doing the thing you were supposed to finish two hours ago. Classic. Don't worry, I'm not judging. Actually, scratch that, I am judging. You can't focus for more than, what, 10 seconds? You open your laptop to work and suddenly you're three TikToks deep, two Instagram scrolls in and somehow Googling if cats can get depression. Here's the thing, your focus isn't broken because you're lazy, it's because I, your brain, have been hijacked. Notifications, endless tabs, and the sweet dopamine hit of refreshing your feed. Yeah, I eat that up like candy. Meanwhile, the boring task in front of you doesn't stand a chance. But don't panic, stick around. If you can manage to pay attention for five minutes, and I'll explain why your focus is trash, what I'm actually doing behind the scenes, and how you can take back control before your attention span shrinks down to that of a goldfish. Deal? Good. Let's start. Let's be real. You can't focus on anything. You sit down to get work done. And within five minutes, you're on YouTube watching videos of raccoons washing cotton candy. And don't even lie. You don't remember how you got there. You just blink and boom. Three hours gone. Every task you touch ends up abandoned halfway. Write an essay. Suddenly you need to clean your entire room. Open a textbook. Oh no, time to rearrange your Spotify playlists. Start a project. Better check your phone 47 times in case someone liked your meme. Spoiler, they didn't. The truth is, your focus isn't just bad, it's a disaster. You treat your attention span like free Wi-Fi. Open to anyone, anytime. No password required. A notification pings and I, your brain, sprint toward it like a toddler chasing candy. And you wonder why you feel guilty at the end of the day. You didn't work. You just multitasked yourself into a puddle of exhaustion with nothing to show for it. So yeah, your focus is broken. But don't worry, I'll explain exactly why I'm such a chaotic mess. And then maybe I'll show you how to fix it. Assuming you don't click away first. Alright, so why exactly is your focus so garbage? Simple. I, your brain, have been hacked. Not by some evil supervillain, by your phone, your apps, and basically every shiny thing that promises instant pleasure. See, I run on a chemical called dopamine. It's not the happiness drug people think. It's the anticipation drug. Every time you hear a ding, a buzz, or see that little red notification bubble, dopamine whispers, ooh, maybe this one's important. It's not. It's just someone sending a fire emoji. But still, dopamine gets me chasing that hit like a dog after a tennis ball. Meanwhile, the boring stuff, homework, projects, emails, barely tickles my reward system. Why focus on a dull assignment when I can give you a hundred faster hits? Scroll TikTok, watch a cat fall off a shelf, refresh Instagram. Ah, sweet, sweet dopamine. Here's the kicker. Your prefrontal cortex, the part of me responsible for discipline and long-term focus, loses against your limbic system every time. It's like putting a chihuahua in a boxing ring with Mike Tyson. Guess who wins? So no, your lack of focus isn't about being lazy. It's biology. Your brain is wired to chase rewards, and modern life throws them at you non-stop. Congratulations, you're living in the perfect distraction machine. Enough roasting. You probably want to know how to actually fix this circus. It's not magic, and I'm not suddenly going to gift you monk-level focus. But if you stop treating me like a Wi-Fi hotspot for distractions, we might make progress. Step 1. Kill the notifications. Yeah, I know, you'll miss something important. Newsflash, your group chat arguing about pineapple pizza isn't important. Every ping is me being yanked around like a puppet. Cut them off. Step two, time blocking. Tell me exactly when to work and when to rest. You ever notice how you clean your room faster when a guest is on the way? Same trick. Put me on a timer. 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off. Pomodoro works like training wheels for focus. Step three, single tasking. Stop pretending you can multitask. You can't. You're not Iron Man. You're a human who gets confused switching tabs. Do one thing, finish it, then move on. Step four, dopamine detox. Give me a break from the constant cheap hits. No endless scrolling, no autoplay rabbit holes. Boredom feels painful, but it's actually me resetting so that reading a book or finishing a task feels rewarding again. And if you want me to spill all the secrets, I already broke down the fastest dopamine detox hacks. In a full video? Yeah, I'm that generous. I'll drop the link in the description so you can check it out after this one. Assuming you don't get distracted and wander off first. Do these and maybe I'll stop acting like a caffeinated squirrel. Or ignore me, keep scrolling, and I'll happily ruin your focus for life. Your choice. So let's recap. Your focus is trash because I keep chasing dopamine like a toddler in a candy store. Notifications, multitasking, endless scrolling, they're all turning your attention span into confetti. But the fix is, kill the pings, use timers, do one thing at a time, and maybe give me a dopamine detox once in a while. Simple. Not easy, but simple. Now here's the deal. If you actually learn something, prove you can focus for two more seconds and hit that subscribe button. Maybe even drop a comment about the dumbest thing you got distracted by today. I'll be reading them while I procrastinate. Oh, and if you want the full dopamine detox guide, the link's waiting for you in the description. Don't say I never did anything nice for you. All right, that's it. Go fix your focus or keep scrolling and ruin your life. It's your call. Brain out.
I did listen, kid. 